This is the Forbes AI 50 list. 50 of the most promising privately held AI companies in the United States. We created the AI 50 list four years ago to educate and inform the public about AI. We're in the early innings of the AI era. All the ingredients needed for AI are increasingly abundant. There's more data than ever. There are more computer scientists working on AI algorithms than ever. And there's more computational power than ever. And every year I look forward to putting together our AI 50 list, looking at 50 of the most interesting and promising private companies in the US and Canada that are using artificial intelligence to create a range of new businesses and services or help overhaul traditional industries, work to make them operate more efficiently. The selection process this year was a tough one. We had more than 400 completed applications and we had a dozen judges working with us this year uh, with AI expertise, including professors and executives with established uh, companies that are leaders in the field of artificial intelligence. Most AI today falls under a field of computer science called machine learning. Machine learning allows computers to make predictions using historical data. For example, most weather predictions are an example of machine learning. Historical data is used to predict future weather. All the companies on this year's list either use or enable machine learning. Most of machine learning is based on statistics, in particular Bayesian statistics, which is a field of math that uses historical data or beliefs to make predictions about the future. Because of this, AI generally requires three things, data to learn from, software to do the learning, which we call algorithms, and computers to run that software. There's a lot of activity in AI in every industry. It's a huge growth area, and every year, uh, the number of companies vying for inclusion on the list seems to increase. In terms of trends that we're seeing, a noticeable one um, would be uh, a continuing growth in the use of AI in biomedical research, pharmaceutical research, medical testing, uh, those particular fields. Uh, undoubtedly, this is related to uh, the impact of the pandemic uh, and the need to find new types of treatments for different illnesses. But there's also a lot of ongoing work uh, to go after cancer and other chronic uh, diseases um, using AI to try to accelerate testing of uh, potential drugs and treatments that could be very valuable for the future. Uh, in other areas, uh, autonomous vehicle technology is always a regular feature of the uh, AI list. There are a great many uh, AV companies that apply every year. But an interesting trend would be a shift away from uh, more traditional types of autonomous vehicle companies that are developing the technology for robo taxis and personal vehicles and a shift towards companies that are readying uh, their uh, AI uh, software for trucking, delivery, logistics. Um, and in that area, uh, a standout company that we saw this year would be Wabi, uh, a startup that came out of stealth in 2021 led by Raquel Erdison, a computer scientist at the University of Toronto. Raquel also previously was a member of Uber's autonomous vehicle team, and she was a former judge for the AI50 list in 2021. We have other really interesting companies like FarmWise that are using AI and robotics to help farmers remove weeds from their fields without having to use chemicals. They have designed and are beginning to um, roll out a, a, a new generation of robotic farming equipment that do exactly this, uh, weeding of, of fields. Companies like Aurora Solar in San Francisco, which uses AI and machine learning to custom design solar power systems for residential and commercial buildings, a very useful uh, application of the technology that can rapidly design a system, uh, which is important in a state like California in particular, where we're trying to quickly shift to as much renewable energy as possible. AI is really being felt in every industry across the board. 
um, and sometimes in ways that people don't immediately notice it. Part of why it is such an exciting time for AI is that there are more of all three than ever before. First, let's talk about data. The world is producing more data than ever. It's hard to say just how much data there is out there, but experts predict that the amount of data created, captured, and consumed globally will be around 100 zettabytes in 2022. That's about 100 billion gigabytes and over 15 times as much as a decade ago. That means for AI, there's way more data to learn from than ever. Second, let's talk about algorithms. Algorithms are generally written by computer scientists who focus on artificial intelligence. Algorithms get better each year because of these scientists. AI is now the number one concentration amongst computer science PhDs nationally, three times as popular as the second highest concentration. Because of this, the future of AI algorithms looks bright. Finally, let's talk about computational power. This one is particularly hard to measure because there are a lot of new ways of measuring processing power. However, one heuristic to measure processing power is Moore's law, a decades old prediction that the number of transistors on a chip will double every two years. That's a 32 fold increase in a decade. This translates to faster computation than ever before. And new chips designed for AI are even faster and better than Moore's law might suggest. The interesting thing also that we're seeing is uh, greater diversity in founders and CEOs um, at AI companies across the board. Um, certainly more women uh, are founding and running AI companies uh, and people from different backgrounds that we hadn't seen traditionally uh, are beginning to get funding and get started and uh, get their ideas out there. Undoubtedly, we're gonna to continue to see artificial intelligence uh, applied to literally every industry. And it may just be something like monitoring processes in a factory to make sure that worker safety uh, is not at risk or that processes are being followed in the most efficient manner. Because of the ever increasing amount of data, ever improving algorithms and ever growing computer power, AI just keeps getting better and better.